Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, once again, here's a cool shell script I've written. Uh, I've been having fun making a, well, a few of these recently in the past couple of months. This is just another very interesting one that I've made. It's called FZF cards, uh, Fuzzy Finder cards, uh, named after the program that he uses. It's a program that allows you to do flashcards at your terminal, so to recap information, to help you learn something, help you learn a language, or maybe even Linux commands. You never know. Uh, that's up to you. It's very simple to set up. So, let's just look at the directory right here. Uh, here we have very few files, the main one being the um, actual shell script. So, right now, I have loaded into the program, I have uh, the Tokipona dictionary. Tokipona is a minimalist language, it has like about 123 words. Um, it's, quite, it's quite cool, but that's not what the uh, actual video is about right now. Anyway, if we look at the bottom left, it asks us to match up the word from, uh, well, the Manny, the word Manny with its definition. This means Manny, so search for that, there we go. Tells us correct, nice. Press enter, go on to the next one. Kute, that means listen. Ah, ear, to hear, listen. Good, we got that. I believe it gives us five, um, you know, questions to do. Then we press enter again, and it's over. But, you know, there's a lot more to do uh, with the program. If we actually look at the actual script itself, we can see that if you wanted to, you can set the correct colour, the incorrect colour, and the default colour. And you can also set the default number of questions to ask. It's not the only way to uh, set how many questions it asks you before just ending the program. You can actually pass the uh, dash Q flag and then provide that with an argument. So I could do dash Q10 to point me with 10 questions before stopping. Um, that's quite useful if you wanted to uh, have a set goal that you wanted to complete per day. Let's just try that out right now. Let's, let's, let's prompt for just three questions quickly. Mie means man. Nice. Anpa means other. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, that means bowing down, downwards, humble, lowly, or dependent. Uh, you can see that it's gone red. That's wrong. Let's try again. Lasso. Ooh, this, I think this is blue, green. Yes. There you go, it's only prompted us, well, it's only asked us to complete three questions and then the program has ended. Just as we said, uh, three questions. You can do this as many quick times as you want, that's just what I've said to do there. If you don't provide it, a questions argument, it'll just go with the default over here. However, if you're looking, if, you, if you're paying attention, right now we've just been given the Toki Pona side and we're trying to match up with the English side. Sometimes you don't want to do the, the other way around. Sometimes you want to alternate between those two methods to help you learn better. So you just cancel this. What we can do is we can use the dash T flag or the dash R flag. Dash T flag will take in turns between prompting us with the Toki Pona side and the English side. Dash R flag will just randomly pick one of those to do every time. What you can also do is you can, uh, you can just pass the dash F for the first, dash S for the second, so it will only ever ask you uh, the first side or the second side. Dash F it is what we do by default, as it says up here, the default side. But dash S would ask you to do the other way around. So let's just try it, dash S. And you see we get the English side and we need to match it up. That's Killy. This is uh, Soeli. How about we go about creating our own flashcards? What we can do is we can uh, edit side one. Side one has all well the first side of the cards. We have every single one of these things here will directly correlate to one of these over here. So if we look, Aokin up here means emphasis, emotional uh, confirmation, and then Akasi means non-cute and more reptile or amphibian. This is as true for all the way down. Even if we want to get to Lily here, this over uh, all the way down here is little, small, short, few, bit, young. This is a very simple way of doing this. If we wanted to change one, let's say we, uh, oh, let's change, let's say it is, it is in fact a, I don't know, random thing. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I failed typing one, two, three, four, five, but imagine that's what, uh, that's actually translated to little. There, you could do that easily. You could also make do a complete, uh, full list if you just wanted to delete everything on here and just start anew. So very simple, just, uh, edit a couple text files and you have your own, uh, deck of cards made. It's, uh, it's just that simple. Um, you know, very useful for just quickly practicing stuff in a minimal, sort of, well, resource efficient, if you really care about that way. Um... And you can do it, you know, natively, I guess, you know, just in your terminal. Sometimes that's just what you want from a program. Anyway, uh, it's on it's on the GitHub. Um, oh, it's on my GitHub here. Just look in the description for the link. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. See you around.